So, you want to create videos like these. First, open up Blender. Then click on the VFX tab and import your footage. I like to use these little tracking papers with X's and triangles and squares on them. It makes tracking more simplified in the long run. Switch this option to Rotation, Location, and Scale to Previous Frame. Now control click to add a tracking point to your footage. And then hit this button here to track form. Repeat the process until you have several accurate tracking points. Change the keyframes to the length of your animation. If you do not know your camera settings, these options will attempt to determine them from your footage. Then hit solve. You'll receive a solve error number. You're looking for a number below 1. If your number is above 1, it means when your tracks are inaccurate or your camera settings that is interpreted are incorrect. Now click on Setup Background and Setup Tracking Scene. Now let's open up our 3D view. In this view, you'll see our default cube and our shadow catcher. This plane will not appear in your render as a solid object, but instead will show the shadows that lay on it. You'll see this in the Render tab when rendered. These are the tracking points we tracked earlier. Now let's just model something, parent it to an empty, and try and line it up with those tracking points. Now you can see our object appears to be in the scene, but it also appears to be dark when we go into render view. That is because there are no lights in the scene, so we have to match the lighting of our video. In this footage, we have a large window to the left. We will now add a square plane light and attempt to aim it in the same direction as the window. Now always remember, if you're in an ambient room, there is light coming from all directions, but not equally. I like to use the original footage as my environment texture in order to match the colors and warmth of the scene. Now that we have our adequate lighting, hit render. You'll see that you're rendering two scenes, one with your object and one with your shadow lane. These will be combined in the compositing tab. In the next part, we'll talk about modeling, knife tools, and texturing. I hope this was helpful and please follow for more.